Today we're answering the question, do bullets actually ricochet off of steel? And if so, would that kill you or would it just hurt? Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. We've seen what it looks like when you shoot steel dead on. If you haven't seen it, go check that one out. And we're gonna set up some various angles. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see at what point do we stop breaking the bullet apart yeah. and we actually just start rerouting it. And then of course, Ballistic Dummy Lab sent us a nice gel analog. So we'll get to see how deep they still go. Cause we're shooting pretty close. Yeah, we're hoping to get very sciencey about this, very safe and just answer some cool questions, see some cool high speed. As you can see from our setup, we're getting a little bit more scientific, but still remaining extremely safe. We have a way to remotely trigger a single 45 projectile, and then we have our grid line so we can calculate some velocities, and then this protractor here, so we can kind of tell at what angle we're firing at. So we've started with 15 degrees off of dead center, so it should be about a 75 degree angle. We have some AR500 steel and a ballistic block to see what happens at the end of it. Yep, and we've got our phantom set up for some various angles here. And today we're actually shooting off a mirror. So that should allow us to get the camera basically right above the plate without actually putting it in harm's way. Yep, worst case scenario, we get to see a mirror shatter. Let's go learn some stuff. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna slip our single 45 in here and then I'm gonna clear the area, get back behind all our other ballistic shields and we're gonna watch a ricochet. Weapon is hot. All right, high speed's ready on you. Okay, you're good. Ready, three, two, one. Well, the device works. And look at that. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. What does the gel look like? Oh, big old, oh, it's in there. I see like big chunks, small chunks, kind of both. Yeah, just looks like a little pancake in there. Now it did definitely fragment apart. You can see the scorch lines yeah. on the plate, but most of it went to the left, which makes sense. Yep. Not much ricochet in terms of deflection, but that's to be expected. It's only 15 degrees off of his center hit. Right, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's still mostly gone. Oh yeah. Okay, let's back that up. You can see there's still a pancake there, yep. but it's skimmed right across yeah. it. There's pretty much zero deflection there. I think it's just the result of when it bananas out, some of that momentum almost peels it inverted a little bit. So you get a little bit of shrapnel coming out oh, as a cone, but the main meat of the bullet is it's just a disc. Okay. All right. Let's shallow out this angle some more. 15 degrees more? 15 more. I'll paint it up, get a new protractor and... Okay. Let's, let's throw a 60 degree bullet at it. I'm loading the 60 degree ricochet. Weapon is hot. Okay, so now we've doubled our offset from 90 degrees. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. GoPro is gopro -ing. All cameras are good. Okay. High speed's ready on you. Okay. In three, two, one. Good fire. Yep, dead center shot. It is clear. Still see some, some pieces, so we're not just deflecting yet. Based on the protractor, it looks like some debris might be starting to bounce off. Yeah. What does the gel look like? I see some more big pieces. Yeah? Yeah, I think bigger than last time. So. Which would make sense. Because you know? less energy is going into the plate. Right. And more is going sideways. It looks like it did come off a few degrees, but nothing severe. So I bet that's probably more of like an elastic bouncing versus actual deflection. Yeah. Interesting. More stuck together. We kind of like a sled. When it was 75 degrees, it was almost a uniform bowl 
but now it looks like it's going up steeper on the back side of the impact. Yeah. See how it's like a steeper curve? It sure is. But now we've got at least a couple degrees of deflection. Yeah. Of that main. And those are bigger chunks. Oh yeah. Definitely more velocity carrying it sideways as well. Very cool. I, I think now we're gonna start seeing ricochets. Do you think 45 degree angle we'll start to see it? I think so. Okay. Definitely 30 and 15, but. Okay, let's load it up. Let's do it. All right, continuing down, we've moved from 60 to 45 degrees. Weapon is hot. High speed's ready on you. Okay. Three, two, one. Good shot. Beautiful. Weapon is clear. Well, the shape of the impact is slowly changing. Yeah, that one's a little oblong. Well, looking at the impacts on the gel, it does look like it came off just a bit. A little bit. It's definitely more every time, more of a solid clump. And you can see the cavity is a few degrees, maybe even five degrees off. Okay, so I think you were right. That 45 degree is when it starts to stay together. So before we check out that awesome high speed, we want to mention our sponsor for this episode, again, Exter. We have some of their other products here. They've got some bifolds, they've got some leather ones, very cool colors. These are so compact and sleek. I love these. It's got the same quick draw action, yep. all the good stuff. All that, and of course, you can still fit your wallet tracker. Yep. It slips right in there yep. quite nicely. Still the primary function of GPS tracking and locating of the device. Right. They also have another cool product, which is basically a key tracker. This makes all of your keys low profile. Same features as the card tracker. You can use your phone to find your keys. You can use your keys to find your phone. It works both directions. If you're looking for a more compact, quick draw type wallet or card holder, highly recommend checking out Exer for some of their products and for what you're all waiting for. Let's get back to the high speed. Okay. <laughs> Definitely starting to come off a little bit more. I'm still surprised by how much shrapnel is coming backwards. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect it. Because with, with 45, it's about an even split between end of the plate and sideways, but it's still sending a lot away from it. Yeah. Yeah, if that would have carried on further, that angle would be even more noticeable, but it's still there. You can see it. We're just trying to capture the actual deflection point right but if you were to have like another one you know with four feet that you could see what it does right. that could be cool to do i think we caught a piece hitting the mirror oh. <laughs> oh. about lost it crazy how fast that ripple is too 100,000 frames a second it's like, it's like a little shock wave very cool okay well we've only got two more to try let's do them get on it continuing on 30 degrees weapon is hot all right High-speed cameras are set, okay. ready for bullet impact. Three, two, one. Ooh, I see a lot more defined cavity yeah. tunnel in there. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, it's a long shape too. Weapon is clear. A longer paint removal. Yeah. And a much bigger projectile still in here. So oh, it almost made it through. The bullet is definitely dragging along the plate as it ricochets. Oh, wow. Yep, and then you can definitely see it. That's a huge difference from yeah. 45 degrees. Major. I think so far what I'm learning is that as you change the degree, it doesn't necessarily bounce off at a higher angle. It mostly just stays together more. Right. So your, your ricochets will get more dangerous because there's more mass coming off. And yep. I bet the velocity is still high. The velocity will be higher. It's yep. just not bouncing as drastically as we thought. Guys in the military and police and stuff, they say, you know, you stay six inches to a foot off of a wall. I see why. And this would be why. Okay, yeah, yeah. My held together. I think you were right. Once you get past 45, it really starts to stay together. Yeah. 
that's probably, what would you say? That's like 90% of the bullet that's still there. Yeah. You can see some of the metal tries to escape and like stretches out and stops. You know, another factor I just thought of, I bet the softer the steel, the more it'll ricochet. If it has some pliability, it might form a bowl and curve it back out. Could carve itself a that little. That could be a good revisit. Yeah. Try mild, some mild steel. steel. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay, so 15 degrees, I bet that might even get through the block, the gel block. It just might, yeah. Okay. That'll be cool. Weapon is hot. High speed is ready. Hitting protection, eye protection, shields, everything good? Yes, sir. Okay. Three, two, one. Good shot. Well, the oblongness continues. Yep. I'm not seeing any bullet in the gel. Pass straight through. So this is our previous one, right? That chunk? Yep. Oh, you're right. What's this glinty little guy down here? You find it? About gotta be, right? Oh, wow. oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> like, it almost looks like it was cut in half, but it just smushed. Yeah. Just Very like cool. that. So it slid on there for a while. Yeah. Very cool. We aimed it to the side of the center on purpose, so because we knew it was going to slide, we wanted it to stay in frame. Yep. There's our bullet hole spot too. Plopped off the back side. Cool. And a crop duster. <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be it. Boop. All right. Awesome. Just got to look at some high speed and learn some knowledge. Let's do it. See what happened. All right. This is our shallowest angle. And from the looks of it, it was almost the most dangerous, I would think. Yeah. Because that bullet stayed intact. Right. Yep. It actually kept going. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's just flat. Barely. I don't think that's going to lose much speed at all. I think so. Nice, good tunnel, everything. That's cool. <laughs> All the paint flakes getting, wow. Yeah. So if you're close to the plate, you know, you might get some of the tiny little fragments coming off in like a disc, but 15 to 30 degrees shooting, AR-500, AR-550, anything really hardened steel, your bullets aren't gonna bounce, really. They're gonna smash and skip along basically the same angle. At least full metal jacket. Full metal jacket, yep. All right, hope you guys liked that video. We did, hope you guys learned something as well. Not as much ricochet as I expected. Yeah. Definitely some interesting characteristics based on that angle there. As you can all see, we have a pretty interesting device that uh, we fabricated. If you saw in our short, we're actually able to time these in the- Less than a millisecond. Less than a millisecond range. And we were actually able to collide two bullets with it. So, give us some ideas of what else we could do with it. We could do some trick shots. Yeah. Like you've said, you know, you could have one shoot the stem of a wine glass and as the cup falls, yeah, and the other one shoots like that. it out at midair. That'd be fun. Two bullets, same hole. And thanks to Tough Built, uh, we've got an exciting project coming up with them, but they sent out this really cool laser level that was crucial in getting really accurate angles here. Yep. So thanks to Tough Built and be on the lookout for that cool episode coming up. You guys have been asking for bullet ricochets, and this was our first attempt at it. So if you want to see other calibers, other types of bullets, whether it's with steel or lead or whatever it is, rifle calibers, handgun calibers, let us know. Also, if you enjoy our content, please subscribe. Check out our previous episode on colliding bullets with steel. We've done that with handguns, rifles, and shotgun rounds. Those yep. have been a really fun series of episodes to make. So go check those out, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.